Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rob. Welcome back to Freelance Health and Physical Therapy. How you doing today? I hope you're not on fire like many cities across America. Um, I hope you're all being safe and taking care of yourself. I hope you're also not being a piece of shit. Whatever side of the line you're on, don't be a piece of shit. Don't hurt people. Anyway, today... I wanted to talk to you about neck pain. I wanted to give you some good news about neck pain, which is that managing chronic neck pain is not rocket surgery. It's not brain science. It's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. First off, obviously, I got to do a disclaimer. Oh, blah. And second off, we should probably show a picture of, uh, oh, Peter Weller. Peter Weller is uh, a god amongst men. He is a hero. We didn't deserve Peter Weller, but we got him anyway. Um, I can't see the man without my heart swelling up and getting excited about uh, sci-fi action movies. This guy's so good. And horror. He was in uh, Leviathan, which is one of the first, it was one of the few movies that I saw when I was a kid that almost literally made me shit into the back of my pants. It was that good. Also, I was that young. It's great. <laughs> okay, let's talk research. First off, we have an article from Berg et al. where they were looking at middle-aged factory workers with chronic neck and shoulder pain. And what they did is they broke them up into a study group and then a non-intervention group, right? So they, they take, you know, 100 people, they cut them in half, 50 people don't do anything, and then 50 people do the intervention. And the intervention was three exercises. Each one they did three sets of 12 repetitions of progressive strength training, right? So starting out low and building up over the course of time. They did them twice a week for eight weeks, and they found excellent improvement in strength and pain reduction. People that are working their ass off all day, hunched over doing God knows what, making widgets, they could do 12 minutes of exercise twice a week, less than half an hour a week, and they had good improvement in their symptoms. We also have Yulinen in 2006, where they found, of course, stretching and aerobics are inferior to progressive strength training when you're trying to reduce pain and improve strength. That's not a surprise. They did another study, Yilin et al. in 2007. This time what they did is they did a meta-analysis, which means that they took a whole bunch of studies on neck pain and different ways of intervening, and they boiled them all down and to see what the, what the trend line is. And guess what they found? They found moderate to high intensity strength training is effective at reducing neck and shoulder pain and increasing neck and shoulder strength. But on top of that, they also found that strength training is really good for improving range of motion, function, and overall quality of life. Get strong, get strong. None of this wussy stuff. None of this putzing around, sitting on your couch, doing nothing, getting sad because your neck and your shoulders ain't getting less painful, ain't getting stronger. That's it, it's so easy, it's so easy. Now, what they also found in that study is they found that short-term training yielded short-term benefits. So if you go to the gym for just a couple of weeks, you go for eight weeks, your pain is, and your pain is gonna go down over those eight weeks, and your strength is gonna go up, but then once you stop, those benefits start They taper off and they level out. Versus long-term training. Motion is lotion, exercise is medicine. It's so simple and people are always trying to sell you crazy cybernetic magic wands that like they like vibrate you and like percuss you and you do these things for your neck and then you go get a thing that pulls your head up and you do all this other funky shit. You got this stupid elastic tape that looks cool. It looks cool. I like the way it looks because it looks cool, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, shoot your shoulder with a red laser. That'll fix it. No. Are you going to the gym? What's your diet like? How's your? Oh, do you sleep? Do you manage your stress? Do those things. And if none of those things work, then we'll start looking for some goofball shit. And maybe we can find a way to help you out with one of these wacky interventions. Next up, there's Anderson et al. from 2011. This time they studied 
200 people and they broke them up into groups where they did nothing, where they did two minutes of progressive exercise and they did 12 minutes of exercise. The group that did two minutes and the group that did 12 minutes did it five days a week, every day of the work week for 10 weeks. And they found that even two minutes a day worth of exercise of progressive strength training is enough to reduce neck pain symptoms significantly. So good. Two minutes a day, dude, two minutes a day. <laughs> You do anything for two minutes, right? So, so two minutes a day for people that have frequent neck and shoulder pain, and then they just start doing these piddly little exercises, two minutes a day, five days a week, and suddenly it starts going away. What the f is that? What is that shit all about, huh? We also have Zebus from 2014, I think, where again, they were testing industrial workers. They had two industrial production factories in Denmark that they tested this time. One group was simply advised to stay active. The other group was given a progressive neck and shoulder strength training program. Guess what they found? Oh, wait. Well, you think about it. Strength went up, pain went down. So easy, again, so easy. Strength training, progressive strength training, forces your body to adapt, forces your body to reconfigure itself, reconfigures the physical structures and the nerves and the ligaments and the tendons and the bones, and it reconfigures the nervous system as far as the innervation of the muscles and the skin and the, and the relevant local um, structures. You get more resilient. You get tougher. It's magic. Do you want me to keep going? Because I can keep going. I can do this shit all day. I'm gonna give you one more piece of information, and this is a good piece of information on this topic because a lot of people that have neck pain are also people that have headaches. Anderson et al, right y'all, uh, in 2017 did a study where they were looking at progressive strength training in the management of chronic headaches and chronic neck pain. And they found that if you do an hour of exercise every week, no matter how you break it up, right? You could do it one hour, one day, or you could do three days for 20 minutes, or you could do six days for 10 minutes, or you could do every day of the week for nine minutes. If you break it up like that, your neck pain is going to come down. You do this for 20 weeks, five months, your pain is going to come down by about 50%. And that's, that's in the study. It's not a guaranteed 50%, but on average, it was a 50% reduction. What else do I got to tell you? Do I have to give you more reasons to do exercises for your neck? Okay, so let me show you real quick the exercises that Zebes et al. used in their 2014 study in Denmark, just to really drive home the point of how simple these exercises are. First, they did the front raise, womp, womp. They also did lateral raises, and down. Next, they did reverse flies, a reverse fly, if you're using dumbbells, you're going to be inclined and you're going to spread them like an eagle. Here, there. And you can also use a resistance band, and this is a reverse fly. This, this. Okay, squeezing your shoulder blades together, not a big deal. And then they also did shrugs. Here's a shrug. Here, womp, womp. Try to keep your head more or less vertical. It's easy to tell when my head is vertical because it's shaped like a cinder block. Up, down, from the back. Up, down. There's also a, uh, a wrist extensor exercise in the Zebus workout protocol. I suspect they were using that to help remediate a wrist extensor tendinopathy. A resisted wrist extension is this, okay? So you're here. All of those exercises, you're starting out doing three sets of 15, and then with time, you're progressing, you're increasing the resistance while decreasing the number of repetitions. So. Three sets of 15 turns into three sets of 12 at a heavier weight, turns into three sets of 10 at a heavier weight, turns into three sets of eight at a heavier weight. And then if you wanna progress that, cause we're talking about this being a lifetime thing, this is lifestyle things, <clears throat> then once you get done with that three sets of eight at the heavier weight, then you cycle back to the beginning and you find that the, the weight you're using for three sets of 15 in the beginning 
is too light. So now you get to, to increase that resistance, okay? So from that new baseline, then you do three sets of 12 at slightly heavier weight than the first time you did three sets of 12, and then three sets of 10, and then three sets of eight, and on and on until the sun explodes and the earth is blown to ashes. Good? Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks again so much, folks, for watching the video. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. I want this to be a group effort. If you guys want to hear me talk about something, if you want me to address something, let me know. Let me know. Okay, that's it. We're done. Instead of doing the normal amped up thing that I normally do, let's bring the energy down a little. And let's bring the calmitude level up a little. Repeat our mantra. Stronger all day, every day.